Oh, hey everyone. Hey, it's Dr. David Yu, and I'm going to demonstrate Tech Neck. Yeah, that's right. So, that's this. So, what is this? If you've noticed that your trapezius muscles are overworked or tired, welcome to the modern world. This is just a part of our daily life, and whether your job is at a computer or in case for us as an injector, my wife is a dentist, we really spend a lot of our day hunched over. And what that does is it starts to cause hypertrophy of the upper trapezius muscles. And as it does so, that feminine, thin, slim neck becomes broad and bigger and therefore a little more masculine. So doing Botox in that area is highly effective. I've had it done. Uh, we've done videos in the past where we talk about TMJ, where people get headaches, they get jaw clenching. Well, in addition to that, it's also related to the trapezius muscles. So if you're having those symptoms and you had relief, we can also help with the shoulders, the trapezius muscles, and it greatly improves quality of life. In fact, when I've talked to physical therapists and chiropractors, they actually endorse it. Why? Because we start to lose the balance of our body. We start to do this when we're driving our cars, holding our phones, and next thing you know, our posture starts to become hunched over, known as the dowager hump, you do this. So by putting Botox in here, you can actually relax the muscle. So let's go ahead and look at the anatomy of the trapezius muscles so that we can identify how the Botox works. As you can see, the trapezius muscle tends to lift the shoulders, contract the neck, and when used independently, it can rotate your shoulders. If you're holding a cell phone and looking down, it can also cause your neck to move sideways, up and down. And if you think about how often you do this in a day, you can imagine why at the end of each day you want a shoulder massage or your neck is hurting. Let's look at some before and after photos. So in the first photo, you'll notice how strong and bulky the trapezius muscles are and makes the neck look short and stout. And once again, this is normal with overuse. This happens to all people as they get older. So thankfully, we can put Botox in there to relax the muscle and over time make it slimmer. So in the after photo, notice how much slimmer and slender the neck and shoulders look here. And hence, you can see why they call it a swan neck. So if you're having shoulder pain, neck pain, it's good to consult your physician. I've tried things like acupuncture, chiropractics. I go on a regular uh, basis for this. And the addition of Botox in this area has helped immensely. So continue to do the right things, follow up with your doctor, you know, get your treatments, but just know that there is an effective treatment that lasts for three to four months to actually help relax the muscles and restore balance to your anatomy. So call the office and see if you're a good candidate, and we look forward to meeting you. Aloha.